Hello everyone, pag-usapan natin ang iba't ibang theorems on infinite limits. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. I-recall muna natin yung limit theorems na previously ay napag-usapan na natin. At dadagdagan pa natin yon ng dalawang ito. So, meron tayong f of x at g of x and suppose that they are both polynomial functions. So, paano natin kukuhanin yung kanilang limit? Ibig sabihin nito, limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to f of a. In other words, kapag polynomial function yung kinukuha na natin ng limit, kung ano yung value ng a dito, substitute lang natin yon sa lahat ng x doon sa function. Ito ay nangyayari lang tandaan kung yung f of x ay polynomial function. At kung meron din tayong rational function na f of x over g of x, tapos kinukuha natin yung limit niya as x approaches a, it is just equal to f of a all over g of a. So ito, parang substitute lang din natin yung a dun sa lahat ng mga variable x sa bawat term sa numerator at denominator. Pero may condition if g of a is not equal to 0. Dapat ito daw denominator ay hindi mag-equal sa 0. Dahil pag ito nag-0, iba na yung theorem na gagamitin natin. So dito tayo sa theorem on infinite limit number 1. Meron tayo sabihin natin na r na isang positive integer. Tapos sabihin natin yung r ay naging exponent ng x sa denominator. So yung theorem on infinite limit number 1, ang format niya ay naka-fraction. Yung numerator natin ay 1, tapos yung denominator natin ay x to the r. Yung r ay a positive integer daw. And if x approaches 0 from the right, ito ay isang right-hand limit, equal daw yun automatically sa positive infinity. Kung meron naman tayong limit of 1 over x raised to r, as x approaches 0 from the left, dalawa yung pwedeng maging answer. Titingnan natin yung r or yung exponent ng x. If r is even, then we have positive infinity. And kung negative naman, that is negative infinity. Tatandaan lang natin to para ma-evaluate yung limit ng mga sumusunod. Una, meron tayong limit of 1 over m to the 11 as m approaches 0 from the right. Dahil from the right, yung ating direction or yung side ng limit natin, Hindi na natin kailangan pang tingnan yung exponent dahil ito, 1 over m to the 11 ay nagko-conform na agad dito sa 1 over x to the r. So this is already positive infinity. Yun na agad yung answer niya. Next, we have limit of 1 over b to the 4th as b approaches 0 from the right. Tulad ng first example natin, this is also 0 from the right. So automatically na ito ay positive infinity. Next, meron tayong limit of 1 over x to the 8 as x approaches 0 from the left. Kung from the left, dalawa yung possible scenario natin dahil yung r natin dito ay 8 and 8 is even, then the answer is positive infinity. And for the fourth example, we have 1 over y to the 17 as y approaches 0 from the left. Dahil ito ay from the left at ang r natin ay 17 which is odd, then the answer for the fourth example is negative infinity. Yung theorems on infinite limits number 1, lagi lang natin gagamitin kung ang format ng ating hinahanapan ng limit ay isang fraction na ang numerator ay 1 at ang denominator ay x raised to r. Tandaan lang natin itong mga conditions na ito. Next, we have the theorem on infinite limit number 2. Dito naman, involve na ulit yung f of x at g of x. Kukuhanin natin yung limit ng kanilang quotient or i-divide natin si f of x at g of x. Sabihin daw natin na yung limit ng f of x as x approaches a ay constant. Okay, tapos hindi daw siya equal sa 0. And ang limit ng ating denominator na g of x ay 0. Parang ang ibig sabihin nito, ang magiging format ng answer ay c over 0 or undefined. Ganito yung mga possible scenarios na titingnan natin. 
Una, kung yung C natin na numerator, yung naging sagot dito, ay positive C. Tapos yung G daw ay zero from the right. Kumbaga, plus din or sa right din nung zero nagsisimula. Then ang answer natin ay positive infinity. Pero kung yung ating C ay negative, ito daw ay isang negative number pag kinuha na ng limit. Tapos yung ating g of x ay 0 from the left naman. Positive infinity pa din yung sagot. So pwedeng ang maging pattern natin dito, kung yung sign ng c at yung exponent in a way, or yung direction ng limit ay parehong positive or parehong negative, the answer is positive infinity. If c is positive and if g of x approaches 0 from the left, kung mapapansin natin magkaiba na yung sign, then the answer is now negative infinity. Ganon din kung magkabaligtad, if c is negative and if g of x approaches 0 from the right, ang answer din natin ay negative infinity. Tatandaan natin na itong limit na to, itong theorem na ito, ay ginagamit lang as last option. Ibig sabihin kung yung f of x at g of x ay pwede pa nating ma-simplify using factoring. E di gamitan pa ng factoring tulad nung ginawa natin sa previous video about evaluating limits. Kung kaya pa silang magamitan ng conjugate para ma-simplify, gamitan pa. Ito ay palaging last option. At ito ay pwede lang mangyari kung ang format ng limit ay c over 0 or undefined. I-examine lang natin yung kanyang mga sign para ma-determine kung positive or negative infinity yung kanyang answer. Let's have this one. The limit of this rational function, 7 minus x all over x minus 10, as x approaches 10 from the right. Subukan muna natin gamitin yung nerecall natin kanina. Ito from the previous slide na Yung a dito ay isa-substitute lang natin sa x ng numerator at denominator. So, this is 7 minus 10. And then, this is 10 minus 10. Obviously, the answer for the numerator, 7 minus 10, it's negative 3. And then, here we have 0. Ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina na c over 0. Dahil ito ay negative constant, at ito, yung direction ng ating limit is 10 from the right. Ibig sabihin, magkaiba sila ng sign. Ang answer natin dito ay negative infinity. Basically, ang kukunin lang natin ay yung sign nung numerator. Kung positive or negative, tapos i-compare natin dito sa direction ng limit. We do the same for example 6. So we have 3 plus 6 all over 3 minus 3. 3 plus 6 obviously is 9 over 0. This is positive C. Positive din yung ating direction or from the right. Ibig sabihin, ang answer natin dito ay positive infinity. For example, number 7, meron naman tayong 5 plus 3 all over 5 squared minus 25. 5 plus 3, that's 8. This is 25 minus 25 or simply 8 over 0. Numerator natin is still positive C, kaso from the left na yung ating values. Dahil magkaiba na sila ng sign, the answer for this is negative infinity. For the 8th example, I'll give you 5 seconds to solve this one. Magpo-pause ako for 5 seconds, then afterwards, ipapakita natin yung correct answer for this. I-substitute natin yung value na 1. We have 1 minus 9 and then we have 1 minus 1. The numerator will be negative 8. 1 minus 1 is 0. Dahil ito ay negative C at negative din yung ating exponent or yung direction. This is from the left. The answer here, dahil same sign sila, is positive infinity. So, ganyan tayo mag-evaluate ng limits using the theorems on infinite limits.